Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and at the request of several thousand individuals, I'm going to be playing Besiege, an early access physics simulation game which generally involves building various war machines to destroy various targets. And this, of course, means I get to use words that I don't normally use in everyday conversations, such as ballista or trebuchet. But uh, yeah, it uses block-based construction here, and of course this is just one of the tutorial levels that says how to build. This is what I've built, and the idea or the objective is to destroy this peaceful little farmhouse. There it goes, you can see this person here standing next to it. Uh, he is not the target, or she, or it, whatever. So I just press the red button, and drive into it, and of course demolish it all. Look at that. And they are uh, smashing up those things as well. Wahahaha! <laughs> I am terrible and evil, and it's actually thoroughly enjoying to destroy things like this. Anyway, moving on, let's go to the next level. Or rather, the next zone. So yeah, uh, now it says to destroy this thing which is higher up, right? See, if you just try to use the same old thing, it probably won't work, I would imagine, because... Oh, yeah, it kind of gets stuck there. It's like... Oh, well, okay. I was thinking I was going to have to develop something more impressive, but apparently that works fine. Still, yes, it's nice to have fun destroying the, the chickens. Introducing those chickens to modern factory farming. Aha, the old Howl battlefield, and all it says is reach the insignia. Well, how hard could that be? Down the middle, and, oh yes, oh yes, uh... Apparently, there are some unexploded munitions there. Oh, I like the way that that kind of just stood on its end there. It's almost like t a totem. It's modern art, that's what it is. Look at the sheep just running around like that. Every now and again, those... Oh, I <laughs> like the tree falling over. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so anyway, yeah, i got to build some way to get around this. And the way to do this is, of course, to make my, uh, make my thing steerable is one way. So I can actually just go and tweak the key mapping. So instead of going uh, using these keys, I can... Uh, okay, let me just see. Forwards would be this. And reverse would be this. Oh, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. How about, how about... Uh, forwards would be J down H. Yes, that's good. And i got to do that for all of these. Forwards... Down. I'm going to drive it like a tank, you see? Oh, uh, up, down, there. Okay, so now on the other side, I need to map K and M, right? So, obviously, this is the medieval version of the tank. I'm not sure what the medieval version of the tank actually was. I guess it would be like a tortoise or something where uh, we would have... Um yeah, you would drive that around. Uh, you would be there to protect the people. Okay, so look, I can drive it like this. Ha 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 ha. See, brilliant. Okay, so now try to drive my way through this. Oh, oh, oh. There, drive it. This is like battle zone. Yes. Of course, I don't need to go up the middle here. I'm just doing that because it's fun. I like a uh, lamb, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually required to complete this level. Nevertheless, it's quite entertaining to do so. Yeah, so there's a there's a game called Battle Zone. It was one of the first 3D like uh Oh shoot! No 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 Battle Zone, one of the first 3D wireframe graphic games, and it came with these controls. It was like driving a tank. You had one control for each hand. And you know, when I was like five years old and looking at this, it made no sense at all why these two things work that way. But of course, in retrospect, it makes total sense. Okay, so we have... Um, oh, that's interesting. There's a bomb right there. Never realized that. I guess in this case, I could just try driving around, right? Let's try that. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Look at you shooting at me. Shooting at me. I just got to get around this, right? All I got to do is run through here. Look at the arrows and everything in me. Ah, smash. No, reverse, reverse, reverse. And yes, excellent. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really getting into building the siege engines just yet, but their time shall come. I have springs and I have flaming balls to throw. 
But I guess none of the siege mechanics I've seen actually make sense in the context of um, your traditional siege weaponry. Okay, it says kill 90% of everyone. So I need to make these this a little more dangerous, right? I can just try driving this around, but I guess what's going to happen is... I'm only going to get so far because it, before I get totally overwhelmed. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yes. Just smash these things around. Ah! Smash. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, can I go that way? Oh, yeah. Bombs as well, apparently. Excellent. <laughs> I like the bits falling down. This is truly a, a realistic example of medieval warfare. I like... It's still killing them. What are these bits still- I, I didn't do anything! How did I possibly complete that zone? I was- I was gonna show you how I needed to work on my thing, but no! It was like, oh, zone conquered. What the heck happened? <laughs> okay, well, so much for that! One of these days, this super basic tank will not be enough but apparently uh, okay so actually this one i will need to make some modifications to it so what i think what i think i do here yes yeah, stick these i'm gonna actually start building this because i need to grab i need to grab this one up the top and i need to grab this one on the bottom and so what i need is mechanical spikes the grabber grabber and then I should probably put in some like internal strutting and stuff to make sure this is, or bracing is what they call them, braces. Uh oh, get in there. Yes, if you're familiar with Minecraft or Space Engineers, then of course this will all make complete sense. And I'll probably brace this. You know what, this is gonna fall over. I absolutely guarantee it. So I'm just gonna add some extra mass at the back here. There we go. Excellent. Bingo. And brace this up here so it doesn't fall over. There, so that should let us let us get both of those things. In theory, or maybe not. Let's try that. And play. Okay, so oh 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 oh. Oh man, come on! God darn. Come on! No! 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 Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> the man that is unfortunate. I shall have to make a little, a bigger one. This, this uh, device. This device is uh, ill-equipped. It's rather short. So delete that. One more on here. One more item on here. Not a moron on here. I'm not putting a moron on my device because that would be unfortunate. Just check V. V is what drops that. Okay. That should work. Now we should be able to grab this thing. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Come on. Ah, there we go. Now, just got to watch and I'm going to let that go. There. Excellent. So now, oh, okay. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come Come back. There we go. Okay. Excellent. D deposit this here. And then V to drop that. At some point, I'm probably going to need to start remap these keys because the, I think one of these keys is the default mapping for something or other. Hey, excellent. Next zone success. Ah, the standing stone. Now, this one... Okay, I think I'm going to have to save this. Save. Save. Uh, oh, save. Dank frame. Dank. Because I think I need to attack this thing somehow. Now, let's see. We have this standing stone, which we must destroy somehow. So, I could build myself a cannon. That would be a good idea. How about that? Okay. So... So, 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 um, yeah, let's just put a cannon higher up on this and just stick a cannon over the top and see how that works. Cannon! That'll work. Okay, there we go. And we'll just drive that straight towards it. That probably won't work, but never mind. Ready, drive, and cannon! 
Okay. Totally missed. And now the sheep are running around on fire. Meh! 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 Mmm! Roast lamb. Yum yum. Barbecued lamb. Barbecued lamb. Okay, let's try that again. Drive towards the target and fire. Ah, oh, okay. That guy's firing like incendiary bullets or something. Okay, you know what? This needs to be taller. If I just do this, I could make it even taller. Or I could do it at an angle. That would be another idea. Look, okay, here's a plan. Let's let's delete this. I, I'm still concerned. I don't know. I still think in terms of using right click to delete things. Because I play Kerbal Space Program all the time. Who'd have thought that I would be slave to the way that Kerbal Space Program does things? Okay. So, uh, 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 weaponry. Let's try that. And then what I need is, is some mechanical stuff. So I can put a spring here. Oh, actually, that's what I should do is a piston. Right. Ah, there we go. A little bit. Of, okay, hold on. Let's do room with that. Let's put the piston here. What I want to do is just make this go back just a bit, right? So the piston, how does the piston work? The piston uses the H key. H key is not used by me yet. There we go. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, okay. That's a little too much. Yep. It's overshooting just a bit. <sighs> Maybe if I put a spring here. There we go. Spring. What does the spring use? Spring uses L. Again, not mapped. Okay, let's try that. And oh, that's... Okay, let's try and use them both together. <laughs> Over the top. Well... Let's try moving in a little closer before I do that. I, I'm wondering if this thing will even destroy it, right? Because it's, it's only a single shot. Maybe it'll be too weak. Okay, ready? And... Oh! Ah, yes. It's going to explode. <laughs> I love how there's just all these sheep running around. They're on fire. You know, I, I, I will point out that, you know... Flesh is generally 80% or thereabouts water, so therefore it doesn't... Oh, excellent! I just hit the buttons together at the same time. Great shot, kid! That was one in a million. I mean, it wasn't quite a million, but I did take several tries. Okay! Thin side fort! Okay, so I've got to use explosives to destroy this. Well, um... I think the time has come to actually construct a catapult. Or, more technically, I think you might call it an onager because I'm going to use springs rather than, say... It's not going to be like a ballista which uses springs. It's not like a trebuchet which uses counterweights. It's going to use, like, a, you know, stored, twisted energy. Uh, yeah, so let's start on that. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Let's just start this... First thing I'm going to do is actually put this in the ground. I, I, I totally want to build this with a static, uh, you know, structure. So we're going to put that up. I'm going to build a little bit of a tower here. And then we'll build this out sideways. Put that sideways. Long, go longer, longer. Look at that. These engineers are super fast. When, um, well, when Edward Longshanks was constructing the... The war wolf, it took months and months and months for that to actually happen. Whereas I am building something just as fearsome in but a few minutes with the point and click of a mouse. As I've said, this game is early access, but a lot of people seem to be quite enjoying it, especially given the very uh, quite capable... Uh, sandbox mode that exists. Okay, so I want to launch a weapon and the one I want to launch is the bomb because that's what's required for this. So we put a bomb there. Put the bomb in. Okay, we're going to toss this bomb over the top. Now, I'm going to launch it using spring. So I need to brace this, right? So I need to brace this to here just to make sure that the thing doesn't fall apart when I try to, you know, use it. Because that would be unfortunate uh, if you 
when when you're working with siege engines, the amount of energy stored in them is quite impressive generally. And uh, if you do not respect it, you can find your that energy being released in quite spectacular fashion. Okay, so that's that. Now we actually need a spring. I'm not sure this is the correct way to do it, I will point out. I may be doing this completely the wrong way. However, I'm just making it up as I go along. As far as I'm concerned, if you're making silly contraptions in games, there's no wrong way to do things. Okay, let's try this. Okay, ready? Oh, excellent! Totally worked! <laughs> As I said, no siege engine actually operated on that principle, but it's what the game offers. Personally, one of my favourites uh, is the Maginelle, which predates the Trebuchet. It's, it's similar, but that was like a Trebuchet that was powered. Ooh, this is interesting. That was a Trebuchet that was powered by people, and of course the Trebuchet is entirely powered by counterweight. So let's just see what happens here. Whoa, launch. Nice. Oh, there's a cannon there! Oh, excellent. I like what? <laughs> They're shooting each other! <laughs> oh, okay, maybe I can make this thing. Oh, look at that! It's like swinging this around like a weapon. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> look at this thing! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> okay, the game is just really confused now. Physics engines to the rescue. Physics engines full of awesome. Um, okay, so I need to deal with these things. So first thing, let's uh, see what else we can add here. We can put, oh, we can put flamethrowers on the front here. How about that? Flamethrower, excellent. Let's put some, a lot of flamethrowers on the front. That will be truly uh, spectacular. Yes, flamethrowers already. You know, I could probably shoot that cannon if I do this just right. Let's do this cannon. And let's do that. Yeah, and let's put some more weapons and stuff on the side here. Okay, cannon. Uh, oh, wait, that's not going to work. Okay, I thought that would point forwards. Perhaps there's a way to rotate these things that I'm unaware of. But uh, for now, I'm just going to work on the presumption that there's no easy way for me to rotate these things. Okay. Going to add flames, flames, flames. Lots of flames. We're going to be doing uh, all the best. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to press... Wait, what button does what? Y is my flamethrower. C is my cannon. L is my catapult. Well, let's try this. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, flames! <laughs> that didn't work at all. Uh, I, I like how the whole thing managed to actually turn the the vehicle around as it was trying to shoot. You know, I think that's going to miss. I think I need to move it out even further. I wonder if there's a way to cut and paste. Uh, I wonder... Uh, no, no. Oh, holding alt does that. Holding control. Oh, just says intersection. I'm sure there's ways to do that that I've not yet discovered. Let's put my, uh, 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 where is it? We have the cannon. And then we'll put another cannon here because we need to balance out, not because we necessarily need to kill anything on this side, but apparently if I fire this, it's very likely the whole siege engine turns around. Okay, let's try this. Three, two, one. Cannon! Yes, excellent! Flamethrower! And then this. <laughs> and now, we uh, we have these guys at the mid-range that just aren't doing anything. I should probably just have... Whoa, there we go! <laughs> ah, ah, yes, look at it go! Just, like, hammering the L key. That's, that's the way to make this work. Okay. So, maybe I should just, uh, maybe I should have, what else have we got? Spikes, blades, plows. I wonder, I wonder if I could fire like a cat, some cannons here. Oh, the cannons won't work like that. 
I could probably just put some cannons here as well, just for good measure. That might work. Are we ready? Cannon! Excellent! And... And then... Yeah! Flames! And once again, and then we'll just do this. No, no, come on! Yeah, you won't take me alive! Oh, I like how the flamethrowers are just floating around like that. No, that didn't work particularly well, did it? Okay, well, let's uh, let's stop this. Let's actually abandon this design. Let's save this as cat as as what do we call it? Catapult. Catapult. Even though that's really more like a generic way of calling it. Uh, let's actually take my tank and and work with that. Let's load my tank and load. Oh, it said load my tank. I need. Okay, we don't need this. Go away, go away, go away, go, go away. Actually, we might need this, but... Oh, goodness. Yes, take away these... I call them struts, but they're not struts, clearly. Because those struts are obviously a space-age invention, whereas in the medieval times, they didn't have struts. They had to have something else. Okay, so you know what I can do, actually, is click and drag to rotate this so I could just point the gun straight at them and have that as my startup. Uh, weaponry, cannon. There, that's the best way to start this thing. And we don't need these. Oh, we can get rid of that. I can put some flamethrowers on for good measure. Flamethrowers and some saws. Yes. Oh, darn. That's not going to work. I can put some saws in the exterior here. That may not actually work. I'll stick some spikes out the front though. There, those will be good. Oh yeah, wait, I can't have that sitting there. I need to get rid of this. And perhaps put this a little higher up. Then I can have my cannon here. Oh yeah, then the cannon is there. And it's just gonna go straight and shoot that thing, hopefully. Let's see what happens. Yes, excellent. Now I need to drive. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm stuck. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Ready, steady, go cannon! Cannon! Excellent, excellent. Okay, now we've got to destroy... Who's shooting at me? Somebody's shooting at me? No, 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 no! Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Okay, my, my wheels apparently are bust. There we go. What, what is there left to destroy? I've surely destroyed everything. That. Yes! Excellent! Woohoo! And I like down here, it tells you how everyone hurt it. Avery Chudderly died due to blunt trauma. Blunt trauma, blunt trauma, blunt trauma, blunt... Yeah, pretty much all blunt trauma. And as I move on to the next level, I think it's a good time for us to uh, take stock and say, yeah, the game is Besiege. Uh, it is like a physics puzzle-based game where you have to destroy things. It's early access, it's on Steam. Feel free to support it. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Whoa.